All right. Hot. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm Carrie, also known as Jay Dinner, and welcome to Knit Pug. And I'm Jackie, also known as JB Cohen, and welcome to Graphic Stitches. See? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. It is. We we. It's almost midnight. Technically, this counts as my fancy beat for the grocery girls cow then, because I can't cast it on until May 1st. You, you have 15 minutes. It's midnight on the Maritimes. Yes, it is. So it counts. <laughs> it's 12.30 like, in Newfoundland. They didn't say when it, what province you had to be in. <laughs> Alright, getting back to it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like I said, I'm Carrie, also known as Jay Dinner, and you can find me on... Uh, Instagram and Ravelry as Jay and Inter and um, that other place that you type. Facebook? No. YouTube? No. I haven't gotten there. Oh, whatever. Tumblr? No. Twitter. <laughs> oh, God. I should have gotten caffeine. I knew I should have gotten caffeine. I didn't. Well. Um, and you can find the podcast. On the blog, which is nitpug.com, on YouTube and iTunes, all under nitpug and group one Ravelry. Uh, as I said, I am Jackie, also known as JB Cohen. You can find me as JB Cohen on Instagram and Ravelry. And if you care to find me on Facebook, it's the same thing. I'm not. I'm never on there. Uh, there is there is a podcast group on Ravelry, guys. Come on. <laughs> There's only like six of us there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, what's the name of the group? It is the Graphic Stitches Podcast Group. Oh, okay. It, it's the same as the... I, I'm not... I'm just, I normally assume, because it's usually me, that they're going to realize it's the, the... I should have said that before. That makes so much sense that I only have six people there now. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. As you can see from the background, neither one of us is at home. Um, we're in a hotel in Toronto. I is visiting the hotel. Yes, I'm going to drive her home after this. <laughs> the worst part is, there's a small chance I might fall asleep and wake up in Newark. <laughs> yeah, because where I'd be lost every single time. I'm using a freaking GPS and I'd be lost every single time. So yeah, we we're didn't really get lost this time coming back to the hotel. Well, no, that's because you actually knew where we were going. <laughs> Apparently, live directions occasionally work. So we're here for frolic. Um, I decided to stay the night because I'm taking courses tomorrow, um, and I had a lot of people come up and say hi. Thank you. Uh, I live in Florida. Yeah, <laughs> she has no excuse. <laughs> so this is going to be down and dirty and mostly stash. You you guys can't see what's on the bed, but there, there's a good good the amount of the king size bed behind me that's yearned. For both of us, mind you, there's, there's two people's stash in there. It's still... And one thing that's going to be shown, we both have, so it's only being shown once. Yeah. Because, like, why would you show it twice? And we have a little bit of knitting, because we're both knitting. So... Again, the, the, I learned something new today for Camilla. That is, that is my tail. <laughs> Yes, don't knit with that. I've done that. Trust me, you learn very... You, you realize very quickly that you've used the wrong piece of yarn. Because it, it, it gets used very quickly. So I had both of them in my hand at once, actually. Sock. And this is the Squircle socks. Which are by... Who? Sock. It is by... Uh, General... Hug a buffer? Okay, hold on. Let's go back to the. Nope, that is actually the name on it. Okay, General Hug Buffer on Rav. Yeah. That's an interesting name. Yep. You probably can't see that because it's lousy lighting. Um, <laughs> and we I'm know back. it's lousy lighting. We know it's a lamps don't work. And I forgot my lamps at home. So, um, it is out of. The angle, which I'm mispronouncing in really large, big stripes. That was so. Yawl. Yawl? Yawl. Yeah. German, is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm adding letters that shouldn't be there. 
the zigzacular socks that I probably showed the last one. I have one done and the other one almost done. Your phone is not actually off. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Apparently that might be my tablet. Okay, yes. it's all good. Um, I don't have them with me, but I'll show you next time. And then... Oh no, it's my friend who was supposed to come today, but she had to go to the um, the GP for Magic the Gathering because she owns the store, but I get She got me one of the things I wanted. The other thing I want apparently is so elusive, no one can get it. Yeah. I swear to God, people, these two places did the whole... So are you having an event these people need to go to today? Are you having a bit? Yeah, let's make it the same day. Of course. Sorry. I'm sorry, that was off track. <laughs> mm. If anyone's actually expecting this to be on track, they're <laughs> on the wrong podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, this is me we're talking about here. Um, so the other uh, thing I'm doing, well, I'm never on track, <laughs> is Cleo, and this is by uh, Rosemary Hill, who's Romney Knits on Ravelry. Um, and this is down past the lace. He's, he's pretty. May I swoosh? You may swoosh. This is at a Mantosh. Mantosh, why are you so swoosh? Mantosh. This is for Mum for Mother's Day. Hi, Mom. Um, she already knows about it, so I'm not giving away any secrets or anything. Um, so I'm almost done. I'm almost to the lace border. Um, I have one more of the Latvian braids. I love how Latvian braid looks. That is neat. That looks like it'd be a really annoying thing to knit though. It is. And not for the reasons that anyone assumes. <laughs> it's really easy because it's just, it's pearls. It's just a bunch of pearls and knits. That's it. But so if you pick up a color in the middle. You don't. You just, you twist the two colors. So they end up really twisted. So it's fine if you're doing it on like a mitt or something because you don't end up with that much twisted. There's over 500 stitches. And anyone who remembers me doing the orang a couple of years ago uh, will remember me complaining about doing it in over 500 stitches because oh my god. <laughs> Looks beautiful though. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's, and I love it. Um, and that's all the knitting I've got with me, so that's all the knitting I'm showing you. Uh, I just cast on socks. If you heard me talking about the Grocery Girl podcasting, she taught me a new cast on. It was the long tail? The backwards loop. Backwards loop. Backwards loop. I was doing a long tail cast on, which I just learned. And she goes, there's something squishier and stretchier. Yep. Don't worry. We'll do, we'll do this, and it's like quicker and simpler and less headache inducing. Yep. Okay. So there's that. I did bring my oh, that's cute. left field knitter. Hmm. It's very nice. And I like vintage, so I can't get it. Uh, my other socks are living in my TARDIS bag by Yarn Deja. That's right. My exploding TARDIS bag. And I lost my knitting. Oh, it's Van Gogh's. Van Gogh's exploding TARDIS. Yeah. Yeah. I call it Splody TARDIS because, let's be honest here. When you're tired and trying to explain your stuff, you don't really... Yeah, it, it doesn't yeah. come up. And since was, oh, by the way, since it was just cast on, it's just 64 stitches. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I'm not as technical as Carrie is when it comes to the explaining the knits. Mostly because I forget. And I should have notes with me. So this has gotten... Actually, it's gotten two rows <laughs> since I last knitted is the Age of Brass and Steam. I actually really like how that's looking. Hmm. And this is out of the Louisa Harding Amatoli yarn, which is an 80-20 super washable silk, which is actually surprisingly squishy. Yes, it is. And it's in the berry colorway. I originally got this yarn for me, but uh, I'm making it for my coworker because it was supposed to be her Christmas present, and it just never happened. <laughs> and Gary's doing my you know those needles have nickel in them. Get out, but I can switch those needles. <laughs> you think this bothers me? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. I kind of expect people to go after stuff. No, you know what? That's no, really why I wear two shirts. Um, I will go into your bra to grab it. I have, I've seen people do that to me, but I shove stuff down there. I have no problem. When men 
do that, I wonder why why women will go after it. I don't think they realize that's where we carry our phone half the time. These are just extra pockets. Yeah, until you start getting into phones the size of mine. Yeah. Beside the point. Anyway. And it's very beautiful. I like the tones. It's a purple with a nice neutral. Yes. And it's a short repeating gradient. So it is gradient. Mm -hmm. It is a gradient yarn. I don't know if that's a short repeat or a long repeat. I mean, medium, I would go with, because it's not a full balls gradient. Yeah. Where, but it repeats a few times. I've got two and a half more repeats of the gradient in my ball right now. And it's funny because this is the age of brass and steam. They ask for four to five hundred yards for it. That thing's like 273 yards, and I've got a decent size, and this will oh yeah, it's block out. It is so squishy right now, and you just can like... Move. Well, it's also, it's um, silk, and silk blocks like nobody's business. Which is why you have to be careful when blocking 100% silk, which I found out the hard way. Would you like to squish the yarn some more before I put it away? No, because I'll just try and seal it again. Well, the good thing about these, actually, um, when I got them, they're like 15, the, the most expensive for this yarn, they're like 50 gram balls, and they're not that expensive, you get a lot out of them, surprisingly. Okay. I'm like, this is supposed to be gone by now, according to the pattern, I mean, it's just the ball that never ends. Yeah. The squishies. Now we get into the squishies. <laughs> now we get into the squishies. Would you like to go first? We can trade off. Okay. This is this is Quince and Co. Uh, Chickadee, which is a sport, and this is actually for a full color work sweater. <laughs> There's more of this on the bed, but these are the colors that I'm dealing with. So, with the exception of one color, she's got two of each color. One color has five. Yep, yeah, this is going to be the base color. Is it not, oh no, sorry. No, this is going to be the base color. And the I one that one. fell is going to be the base color. No, that's the blue. This is the bluey purple. Oh, right. I'm sorry. It's the periwinkle one that's going to be. Yes. I need to look more into the camera. I'm just staring at you when you talk all the time. I just realized I'm looking mostly at you while you're talking. <laughs> yeah, take something? I'm going to just grab this first. So, uh, I cannot remember. So I can... <laughs> <laughs> really, if you're going to throw it at me, I'm really going to keep it. <laughs> no, it was nice. So I got these from the same, uh, from the same booth, so it's George and Bay Fiber Company, and it is, I can't even see. Oh yeah, you're good. It, it darkens after okay. a while, so just go with it. So this is their Bayfield fingering, right? Both of these are their Bayfield fingering. And this one is a mini skein set, and it is in the, no, no, no. color right. No. But, but it's it's purples and and purples. purples. Yeah. And then I got this beautiful cream to offset it. I'm thinking of doing like a daybreak or something with this. Something. Maybe not daybreak. Oh no, daybreak would work. Maybe, yeah. So use this as a main color and then have the stripes be this. It would be more of a sunset than a daybreak. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but it's pretty like that. Okay. So I'm just gonna go by where I got them. This is all indigo dragonfly. So I got one of her um, are these tornadoes. Called? Tornadoes. And I picked it up and fell in love with it and it came home with me. I have no idea what I'm doing with any of these yet. It's a mini gradient set, so that would be interesting. Yeah. And this is the uh, the one we both got. This is the, the colorway for... Um, the, that's the limited edition Toronto's yeah. Near Frolic colorway? So. I like it. This one may or may not actually be going to a swap partner. I haven't decided yet. And then... Is that Grover Kill? I don't think so. Sarcastic thing catch. Yep. Yeah. No, it's, no, it's not Grover Kill, because I have Grover Kill at home. So do I. It's beautiful. Um, it's a gorgeous, like, electric cobalt blue. <laughs> and I just, I had to. So these are sock yarns. All of them are sock yarns. Indigo Dragonfly. Love it. Since she also showed the indigo dragonfly, I shall show my other indigo dragonfly, which is one of her gobstoppers. And these are all one of a kind gobstoppers. Now this is her BFL giant, 100% superwash blue face luster. It's 600 meters in a light fingering weight. 
<laughs> you're gonna just steal all of it, aren't you? Oh, I might take this for, for you know, uh, driving. Hey! <laughs> for driving. Yeah, no. So this is sweet paprika. Uh, I'm not actually 100% sure I've ever knit with their stuff before. I think I have. Um, and this is the Georgian Bay colorway, which I love. And I'm just following. If we've got you from the same place, I'm following you at this point. Works for me. Again, sock weight yarn. I seem to have done all sock weight this year. That's all I did. Well, other than the sport from Quince and Co. Um, so yeah, this one was just kind of a, and I walked by and saw it and went, ooh, I need that. <laughs> I'd basically just gone in with the whole idea of just buying things that caught my eye and I want a sweater quantity, I bought two. So we'll just, we'll ignore that. So my sweet paprika, I got another mini skein set, again, for like a shawl. It's the Midnight Garden color set, and I think that one is the Georgian Bay one. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So that's there. This is the only one of this particular set. I'm showing it backwards because this has just got the giant card in it and you can't see the pretties. Yeah. I had like five people who I showed this to try and walk off with this. Not including you. Oh. <laughs> five oh. other people. <laughs> and I was like, I'm buying this one. Why wasn't it there? Because I bought the last one? Yeah, I basically, she was distracted trying to get yarn back from somebody else. And I was <laughs> into the bag. At the meetup, of course. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So, more stuff. This is from Bling Your String. And I got another one of her bags. And I have three more bags at home, one of which is going to be a giveaway. And I also got. Uh, oops, where's the other one? What are you looking for? I've lost the other one of these. Well, there's another one of these, which is a needle keeper. It's not in there. It's over there. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> um, that I will show later. That is going to be also a giveaway. So these are from Bling Your String. And yeah, I just kind of picked this up and it fell under the head. had to have it. It's Garden Speckle. I don't know. I saw it. I fell in love. It looks like a muted rainbow. It does kind of, yeah. With a lot of to undertones. I like it. So I'm, I'm showing two things that I got from actual yarn stores now, separate ones. So this I got at the Purple Pearl, it is Socks That Rock, because apparently I have a problem now and I need all the Socks That Rock. Oh, I, I have four at home. But this is the Beach Glass colorway. I saw it and fell in love. And it was the last one. If it's the last one of any color and you fall in love with it. Yeah, you might as well like it up. And this is from a store that I do not remember the name of. I had a lot of handmaiden. Was that the one in the corner across from the Beat FX? Kitty mm. corner to it? Yeah, I don't remember the name either. They don't really, that store doesn't really promote their name, but this is the Allegria in the agave color. Kind of reminds me of Maleficent though. Yes. My friend, one of my other friends who was there that I was with in the morning, she also, we bought the last two, so we're like, we're gonna knit this together and find a shawl pattern and just like accent color. Mm. And knit that up. I'm thinking a nice blue. Maybe Grover Kill. Nah. No, wouldn't go with it. I'd almost say like a cream. True. I need to buy more creams then. I have a lot of cream at home, but I do a lot of color work, so that's <laughs> kind of understandable. Um, and then I got these are zigzag stitches. I love her bags. Absolutely adore her box bags. So I got another one and then another needle keeper. This makes three that I now have. And I got beads, which are going with yarn, which I have not shown anyone yet, which I don't have with me because I got it a while ago. So I'll, I'll, we'll get back to this. Those are very pretty purples. I have no clue what I was about to say there until I realized I was talking. Um, you, yeah. Do you bags. So there was, <laughs> so there was, that happens a lot. So there was uh, yeah, just a was... random, and it said the name, and I can never remember, this random booth near where the cafe was. My favorite color, and some monkeys. Got and they're like, they're nice shawl size bags. That's almost a sweater size. Almost. Not big enough for a sweater size, too big for a shawl bag. It's like a really weird in between. It would work as a sweater bag if you weren't like 
carrying the whole sweater with you, like if it was a piece. Yeah. Or if you know you just had like the one ball in the working piece at the time without all the extra. Yeah. So this is how this one looks. It's beautiful and purple, and I will probably wind up sleeping on it as I do all my knitting bags. When they're filled with yarn and I'm knit and I knit late into the night, I usually fall asleep until I poke myself with my needle. And I don't realize I've fallen asleep because the, the yarn makes the bags all squishy. Considering the fact that I have um, actual like scars from knitting needles, I make point of putting them down before I... And then this is how the soft money one looks. Sorry. Anyone who's seen me on two, who's watched Two Tangled Skeins enough, has actually seen that episode probably because I did it on camera. I'm not talking. Yeah, yeah, I'm a special kind of special. So I got this um, mm. cockatoo braid, and it is from Yokes uh, by Kate Davies. I love Kate Davies patterns. So that's the pattern there. Um, and this will be, ha ha ha, I need to enjoy knitting this. I have to email the person who sells them and get a couple more skeins of the, the brown. It's not quite enough because, quite frankly, sweaters don't come in a length for someone like that. Not normally. So the next place I, well, one, the, second or third place I went to is actual Stitch Please. I, I saw them on Instagram and I, as I've said before, I'm a graphic designer. My personal logo for my regular work, is, the colorways are Pantone 102, which is a yellow, and Process Purple, which I have to change. Or wait, it's 1972 purple. I can't remember, because <laughs> the purple's changed a bit. And that's just work talk. But purple and yellow are my colors. <laughs> and. It's the amethyst label. It's my birthstone. In my colors. If there was ever a yarn that says buy me, Chad, it's like Jackie. Yeah, that was kind of... They had one kit left of this in my size. Like, one kit period left. And it was my size. Some things just say, buy get me. off your ass and buy me. Yeah, that was one of them. Because I've, I've seen the pattern before and I've been debating it. But I wasn't gonna get the kit, I was just gonna buy the yarn and whatnot. Do you have any more? No, I think I'm done. Oh crap, it's all me now. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I came with quite a bit of money to this, but I've been saving for a month because I'm not gonna go to many yarn stores for the next little while. So, the next thing I got was from Shirley Bryan, and it's 100% cotton fingering weight yarn, but it's in a slow gradient. So, a full skein gradient, like my gobstopper, only this one is repeatable. And I'm willing to give this cotton a try. I might have regret buying this now that I'm feeling it. So do. It's not that bad, and I use my needles. I'm just sprayed if it would choke up on my needles, which every other cotton yarn I've worked with has except for the Pima cotton. Well, you know, worst case scenario, I do love those colors. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. It actually came with pattern as well, which looks really nice. And the, the shawl itself that was knit up was really soft, so... I don't know. It'll definitely, like, part of the, the, the crinkle on that is the dye. So once it goes through a bath, I didn't it'll know that. soften. I didn't know that. But what I kind of find is inter interesting, so this is in, like, a schmear case. If you can't tell I'm Jewish, talk to me for five minutes outside of a podcast. But, like, because of the lid, like, I can cut, like, a little circle in it and just have a little mini arm bow. Yep. Although my one worry would then be with the cotton because it's so crinkly because of the dye, would it snap? Uh, I'd more, be more worried about uh, rough edges. Yeah, like would it snap against the rough edges is what I was worried about. So the next thing that I'm going to pull is also from a yarn store, the actual item. I got a pretty Megan purple. We can blame the dancing geek for this years ago when he got his hurdy charms and introduced all of us people from outside of the UK to hurdy. Although I'm sure other people knew about it long before I did, but I never heard about them. I also blame him for my love of Mano Stella Uruguay. <laughs> he knows this. I've told this to him a long time ago. I blame Selma. <laughs> Hi Selma. I love you, but I blame you for my love of that yarn. Oh, it's so squishy though. The colors are amazing. 
And the fact that part of the proceeds go back to the place, of the co-op that spins it. Definitely a good guy. So this is from Georgetown Fibers, which is in Georgetown, which my mom wants to drive out to because she actually enjoyed that store and she was upset that she didn't get to go again. But inside, are these mini skates, which are not from Georgetown Fibers. <laughs> they're all from Studio Lou, so they're all hand dyed and they're all different. And they're perfect for squares for my mini blanket, so these mini square mini skeins are not a gradient. There's lots of them. There's tw there's twelve in here. But twenty dollars for twelve mini skeins? That's not a bad price. No. Yeah. I have something else, which I did tell you guys about. Well, I didn't tell you guys about this. So I ordered it's called birthday cake from Penguin Soups, from Jenny of Penguin Soups. And it came! And it is awesome! And this is getting paired with my limited edition colorway from last year's you know, frolic from Indigo Dragonfly, which is like lambs to the frolic, which is nice blues and teals and very similar type colors to the uh, cotton yarn without the purple. But I also, she dyed another yarn and it's self striping. <laughs> and I ordered it because it is purple and yellow. And I may have said that she was evil when she died because she knows I can't resist those colors. And she goes, I may have died a little thinking about you because you buy it. <laughs> no, no. So, and, but she was there today and she delivered it. And I actually finished paying for this today. So we agreed that I was going to give her money for this. But because this had shipping attached to it, I'm like, you want to take the flat rate shipping from this and put it towards this as a down payment? She was really cool with it. But she gave me a present. Give me this bag. That is. I am a huge nerd, and the fact of the matter is, I'm a Marvel geek. I love Marvel. I love some DC, but I, I feel like there are a lot of DC characters. No, I'm not getting into that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're not. No. But it has Groot, and it has Baby Groot on here, and it has Rocket. Oh, it does have Rocket on there? Yeah. Rocket? It has everybody. It has Shaft and I don't know what. That's Peter. Okay. It's a Peter. He looks kind of like Shaft. Just, <laughs> just go with it. <laughs> My geekdom is really, really strange. So it has Grimora, it has Drax, it has Peter, also known as Star-Lord. He's the only one who calls himself Star-Lord. Sorry, I just repeat that. It has Groot. It has Baby Groot. And it has Rocket. Although I'm more of a Captain America fan, but I think everybody knows that. <laughs> but you know what? It's just awesome. And yes, I'm hugging you bag. Oh, like you wouldn't hug awesome bags. I, I make no comments. Let me rephrase that. She wouldn't do it on camera. Kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you would. So <laughs> I'm done with my stash. I would like to know we actually have volume wise almost the same amount of stash, but she's got two sweater quantities. Yeah, I think volume wise I actually ended up with more just because I have two sweater quantities. But that's okay. I'm that saying was what we I had know. similar volumes because one of your sweater quantities is in a bag immediately packed away. True. So yes. <laughs> so that's it. That's all. Uh, the only other thing would possibly be to recount the uh, meetup. Which resulted in somebody being pooped on. <laughs> Three people being pooped on. Bird poop. Let's just let's just specify this is bird poop. <laughs> Most of us are all talking about yard elves, and then we hear three shrieks, and everybody turned. Bird poop. And Tiffany of oh, what was her podcast? Uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. The Breakfast at Tiffany's podcast, holding out her arm like this. And it basically it she's in front of the other um, of us and it splattered. It hit her and then splattered back. So yeah, you and from when your string. Yes, and I've forgotten her name as well. Oh, we're sorry. I'm horrible with names. I promise but, yeah. to buy the vintage poster thing again soon. I actually said it. I'll be okay not buying this now. It'll be here when I get back. I learned that lesson. Yeah, I learned that lesson at a festival years ago. 
I may have done that on purpose because I didn't want to spend all the money, though. True. And yarn. So that's it for tonight. Pretty much. We told you it was stash. Yep. There will be more episodes. I promise I will be back to regular recording. I, I apologize if I was staring at her for most of the day. I tend for this because I actually look at the people who are talking to other people in the room and I kind of forgot about the camera. Yeah. But at least I didn't have my crazy thing. If I was just staring at the camera, we would have been here for hours because I would have gone nuts. Anyways, I'm <laughs> shutting it off now because I need to go edit. So, bye. bye. That wasn't so